What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back on our Series 13 tear, but this time using Jirachi. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and turn on this notification bell so you know when my videos go live. But like I said, we are using Jirachi today. It is a Steel and Psychic type, and it is a really cool Pokemon. Jirachi, Celebi, and Mew are basically kind of like all the same. I wouldn't say the exact same, but due to their stats, I think all their stats are the same. It kind of makes them very similar. So Jirachi is going to be a fun Pokemon to use, but not an OP broken Pokemon to use in Series 13. But let's get started here in that top left corner. We're starting off with the one and only Whimsicott for today's team preview with Prankster and a Focus Sash as item. It's got Dazzling Gleam. It's got Tailwind for Speed Control, Helping Hand, and Taunt, a fairly normal moveset for Whimsicott that works oh so good. Second Pokemon is going to be this Grimstone. Prankster and Light Clay, and this moveset is mwah. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Probably my favorite moveset for any Grimstone. It's got the Light Clay with the Reflect and Light Screen to make those screens stay up a lot longer. It's got Spirit Break for its stab hitting move and a special attack drop. And then last but not least, it's got Scary Face for even more speed control on this team. Middle left is going to be Groudon. Groudon has the Drought, obviously, to control that weather. And then it's got that Muscle Band as its item. You don't really get to see a Muscle Band Groudon, so this one should be fun to use. It's got Fire Punch, it's got Heavy Slam, Rock Slide, and then it has Precipice Blades for its heavy hitting stab move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Jirachi. Jirachi is the Pokemon that we're showcasing today. Cannot wait to throw him in a battle and get after it with it. It's got Serene Grace as its ability, alongside with that Assault Vest to make it a bit more bulkier up against special attackers. It's got Zen Headbutt and Meteor Mash, both for stab, and it's got Drain Punch and Ice Punch for two coverage moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Yveltal over here, and this Yveltal is super strong in Dynamax form. It's got Dark Aurora alongside with that Life Orb, then it's Rocking Dark Pulse, Oblivion Wing, Heat Wave, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be a nice gimmicky fun Pokemon. We got Blacephalon over here with a Beast Boost ability alongside with that Y Lens to actually make its Hypnosis land a lot more and its will o -Wisp land a lot more. Its other two moves consist of Flamethrower and Shadow Ball. It's not going to be that mind blown Blacephalon, but this one's definitely going to be a lot of fun to use on the rank ladder. But guys, there's the team preview. If you want to rent this code for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 13 Jirachi team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Deante team that I just showcased on the channel, right? This exact team I showcased? I think it might be this exact team. Really, really close to it. Hopefully, it is the exact team, and hopefully, this guy is a viewer to the Gene channel. If you are, huge shout out to you. But we're going up against Deante with Dialga, Ice Rider, Calyrex, Incineroar, Amoongus, and Dusk. We definitely got to bring in a Pokemon like Wimscott. Wimscott can definitely be really good with a Taunt, and then on top of that, I could go, could go Bacephalon maybe for the lead. I'm trying to think of what we can do here. Let's say he goes Deancey. We could bring in Groudon. Groudon can do a lot of work with the Blades on actually a lot of different Pokemon. But our only problem would be that Fake Out. I'm not really looking forward to the Fake Out. I'm not looking forward to the Fake Out. So I'm definitely going to go Whimscott. I am going to go Groudon here. Or I could go Blacephalon. Because Blacephalon can't be Faked Out and then we could just hit this. So I'm kind of leaning towards it. So I'm going to go Whimscott. I'm going to go Blacephalon. I'm going to bring Groudon. And then Jirachi in the back end. We could have some fun with Jirachi. I'm kind of digging Jirachi. So, you know what? I'm going to bring in Jirachi. I'm going to bring in Jirachi, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I know you guys have been wondering, yo, Jeans, where has the Mars Shadow team been? Where has Genesec, Victini, uh, Melmetal, like the really cool Pokemon that I haven't showcased yet. And the reason I haven't showcased them just yet is because I was waiting for the actual rank season to start. So, once it starts, and actually today, we're going to get going with that. So, hopefully, you guys are excited for that. Hopefully, you guys are ready for some really cool Series 13 teams. The first team I want to showcase is Mars Shadow. Such a cool Pokemon and probably my favorite Series 13 Pokemon. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring those notification bells so you know when those videos go live. But, let's see who he ends up leading. Amoongus and Tuscop are going to come out here. Um, okay. Kind of tough because he kind of guarantees getting off Trickroom here. Right with a Rage Powder. Trickroom is probably going to come out in about anything I could do here hmm anything I could do here I have helping hand good helping hand but Cephalon's flank though I could have the I could shadow ball um if I had to guess right I had to guess I mean we could mm, this is tough I mean I could leave these guys out on the field instead of taking them out I could leave, leave these guys out on the field instead of taking them out just yet. 
and waste out some turns. So that's what I'm going to do. So instead of helping Hanny, I'm just going to go into a... Uh, I'm going to go into a... I taunt him. I think I'm just going to taunt the Moogus. And try to Shadow Ball this other slot. Exactly what I'm going to do. Exactly what I'm going to do. He is going to Rage Powder. I'm going to taunt him. The reason I ended up taunting him is because I want to waste out these turns. I really do want to waste out these turns right here. So I don't want to kill him and just have him swap into like Calyrex and kind of steamroll me. So we're going to have to play his battle slow. So Bocephalon is going to chip up some nice lovely damage here. Get that off and Trick Room is going to come out. out. Alright, so now that Trick Room's out and about, I think we just start getting after his Dust Cops. He can't Rage Powder me anymore. He might I don't, honestly swap. And who could he swap into? Cali? He could swap into Cali, so I might want to Flamethrower that slot now. Yancey too. Hmm. What do I want to do? I kind of just want to go into this. Go into Shadow Ball here. This is Echoing Window. Hopefully he doesn't swap. Hopefully he kind of just stays in here. He does stay in here. That's beautiful. So our turn's kind of working really well. I don't think this Helping Hand Shadow Ball should be able to take this guy out. But he's just going to constantly like Palm Puff and try to chip up some damage. But I'm fine with just wasting out Trick Room turns here. Close round coming in hot. Can you eat that up? Do with that focus. Do not poison me. Do not poison me. That's the last thing I want is a little poison. Cool. The poison does not come out here. Shadow Ball coming in hot. So we'll do some nice damage here. And it does not take out, which is beautiful. He could end up starting to pain split me. But I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, he could Gleam. Flamethrower if I want to. But Helping Hand would probably be my best bet to take out this one. How many turns? There will be two turns left when uh, everything ends. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's get rid of this Amoogus. I'm not dealing with it. He could Palm Puff the Dust Cops. He could. He could definitely Palm Puff the Dust Cops. But again, we're slowly playing this battle. Just gonna Nightshade probably finish off my... No, he goes after you. Bocephalon eats up. And he's gonna go for a Sludge Bomb into... God dang it. Into Bocephalon. But he eats! We get a free Sash. That's huge. That's huge turn. So we still have two of our Pokemon out here. I love that. Moogus is gonna drop out here. And we are slowly wasting out this trick. Which is huge. Which is huge. So from here, I am going to taunt the Dust Cops just so when Trick Room ends, he can't set up another one. And we're kind of just going to go from there. Pretty solid turn. Pretty solid first turns. The Trick Room's ending rather soon. And if I can end the Trick Room and have Jirachi and Yamato come out here, can't be looking really, really well. But my problem with those two Pokemon is none of them can protect. And it's kind of ugly that none of them can protect. Do not like. So if he goes in Calyrex, which he does, he's just going to go. Mm. Not looking good. This is not looking good. The trick room just does me so dirty. The trick room just does me so dirty. It really does. Obviously, I want to taunt. I want to taunt this thing. Do I even want to taunt that thing? I mean, we can get rid of it whenever we want, but I have to taunt it. I have to taunt it. And I guess I'll try to go for a hypnosis on this thing, but my problem is if he doesn't Dynamax here, which he's probably not going to, he's going to go into a Glacial Lance. And he's going to roll out strong, right? There's a nice shade. Glacial Lance puts him up plus two. I have no way of protecting. So what do I do? I have to Dynamax Jirachi, right? Okay, at least he only goes up plus one. He doesn't pick up a double kill. That works. That works fine. If I was him, I would have went into like a, maybe like a protector, like some stupid move to not kill him. And just go up plus two with Calyrex. But now he can Dynamax Calyrex with one turn left. Um, what do we do? It's my only problem with uh, these Pokemon. Oh, we have Growlithe instead of Yabelthal, but still. Still, I don't think we can eat up an Ice move. So I think I, we just Dynamax and we go into a Steel Spike. We Steel Spike this Calyrex. Kind of roll from there. This is ugly. This is going to get ugly. Maybe Jirachi can clutch it up first. Jirachi definitely has a chance to clutch it up here. Good old Jirachi. Good old Jirachi here. So yeah, I'm going to go for the Blades. Just so I can double hit here. I go for a rock side. Rock side wouldn't be bad. But I really want to go for the blades more so than anything. Double down and then just Dynamax and go into the steel spike here. So we're gonna hope he doesn't Dynamax, but again, I think he Dynamaxes and drops the ice. Going to ground him. And that's why I do wish we had a protect. Because if we if we had a protect, I would just protect the ground here, steel spike right into that thing, grant ourselves a nice lovely defense boost. But I wonder what he's gonna do. I am terrified. I am terrified. He does end up Dynamax and we saw us from 17,850 miles away. Saw that from a mile away. And now, it's about to go down. It's about to go down about number one, ladies and gents. 
Horses Dynamaxes, Jirachi's Dynamaxing. We have one more turn left in Trick Room. I don't think Groudon survives this turn. I really do not. We know Dusclops is still taunted, which is huge, so I'm kind of not worried about that Pokemon. So if I can focus down on this other slot, we could kind of be chilling. But again, he's just going to start chilling Nabus. We are going to start going on the plus one on the defense board after the Steel Spike. And it is Stab, so we can chuck up some nice damage. But our Salt Vest isn't really going to get any value up against Calyrex because he is a physical attacker. But we got a problem here. Here's Nightshade. Are you doubling down into him? Go after my Jirachi, please. I would love to be able to get a whole blade series. Let's go for a hailstorm. That's definitely taking out Groudon. We're going right after Groudon, right? Yeah, see you, Groudon. We kind of wasted that nice shade on, onto Groudon, but still. It kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. How much damage can you do, Jirachi? Can you rip up into this Calyrex? I don't think it can, it can do half. I really don't think it can. Let's see. Chilling A boost it. That's scary. That's terrifying. He's going to take some orb damage. Defense boost coming in hot. So he's plus two on attack. We're plus one on defense now. And that's some solid damage. That's not bad damage. Could be worse. It could be worse. But defense boost coming in hot. Um, Buffets are going to fly through. And mm, I think we need two more Buffets to take out that, that Dust Cops. No more Trick Room. That Dust Cops is taunted. We do go first here. And how many turns is left in your taunt? Show me two. It's one. Could guard this turn. Try to go for Trick Room next turn. But I'm not going to allow him to get off Trick Room at all. I think we just go into another steel spike. We take a defense boost and we chip up some damage here. Let's get it, Jirachi. Let's get it, Jirachi. Be getting after it, Jirachi. This battle's gonna come down to the wire, yo. Can Jirachi clutch it up? Hopefully, he's not protecting Calyrex. We know that Dust Cops cannot do anything besides Nightshade. That's good. That's really good. We played a nice slow slow start for us which is good he does not protect which is wonderful for us we got plus two on defense he's plus two on attack so we're kind of neutral here and oh my god we almost pick up that ko that would have been amazing that ko would have been huge that ko probably would have had a huge chance to win this game and we're going for a quake i mean we should be able to soak pretty well here actually not as well as i thought it would not as well as i thought it would buffets are going to start flying uh what do we do here Do I have a double? Okay, he dies to life orb. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. He dies to life orb. That's not too bad. He dies to life orb. He's going to go for a nightshade. Does the same amount of damage. We're down to 60. We have one more Dynamax turn here. And I mean, he can pop trick him if he wants. Dust Cop's going to die to that. I feel like I have to go after whatever Pokemon he throws out. It's rough. It's rough. Who's going to throw out? The Antsy. Now the question is, does Deancey protect because Trick or Buffets will KO, what's it called? Buffets KO the Dust Cops all day. Buffets KO the Dust Cops all day. So I, ha I have to go into a Steel Spike here. I have to Steel Spike here. Even though I think he might protect because Taunt's over. He does protect. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Should have read it. How much damage are we going to do through this? Defense boosted. I mean, isn't this uh, four times super effective? Yeah, it does half. Trick Room coming out here. Trick Room coming out here, and we're going to lose off that. That hurts, man. If I would have read the Protect, which I probably should have done. I probably should have made the play. Read the Protect, take out the Dust Cops, allow Trick Room not to set up, and then just Meteor Mash straight into Deancey for the win. That could have been the play. That could have been the play. But there is still a slight chance that we can eat up whatever he has to offer. Right? Can we? I don't know. We're plus three on defense. We're plus three on defense. How much HP are we going to have? Like 19? Is it 19? 19. We got to go for it, right? We got to. We got to stay in here. You might miss an attack. Maybe we can eat up a shot. I mean, what moves does he have? Diamond Storm coming out here. We're Steel type. Can we eat that? Jirachi, I love you. He, wait, he gets a defense boost. Can we still KO? Yeah, Jirachi. Jirachi, I love you. Jirachi clutching up battle number one, picking up three KOs all by itself. You got to love it. What a perfect way to get this Jirachi video started. Jirachi clutching up in battle number one. We got the Dynamax. We got the Waste House Trick Room. It soaked up the Diamond Storm. It was just beautiful. It was just perfect. But we're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Necrozma and Kai Ogre team with Kieran White, Tornadus, Incineroar, and Zamazenta. How should I play this one? How should Jeans go into it? We definitely got to bring Groudon in here somewhere. I feel like Tailwind can actually be really good for us. So I'm going to go Whimsicott. And then I am going to go... Hold on, or do I just lead Yveltal? Yveltal is really not too bad here. 
If Yveltal can get some work done, I think Yveltal's going to be a great lead. Plus, it's not affected by Intimidate. We'll bring Jirachi in the back end and then Groudon. Right? I'm digging it a lot. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins here in battle number two. But I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day. That is, will you guys be getting Splatoon 3? It comes out in uh, like a little bit longer than a week. So really, really soon. And I'm definitely going to be getting it. I'm going to be streaming it all the time on my Twitch page. So head down, link in the description below. Or just look at the name right below the face cam, Jeans25 on Twitch. Go hit that follow button over there. We're going to be streaming it over there. But if you guys are getting that game, let me know in the comment section down below. And pop up to my Twitch streams because we're going to be doing uh, battles with viewers on my team. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But he's going to end up leading the Tornadus alongside with this Kyrim. And I might... What do I do here? Do I want to Dynamax this, this uh, Yveltal? Or do I just want to tail? Let me see your speed. Let me see your speed, uh, Scott, because I might just taunt this thing. Your speed is very timid. You should be able to outspeed this Tornadus. Let me just taunt this thing. Let me Dynamax on top of that. And then, do we airstream through darkness? What do I do here? I don't want darkness. The arms kind of scare me, but I feel like we can eat up whatever he has to offer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. My play. That is my play. I have to Dynamax this Pokemon. I have to Dynamax this Pokemon right here. But yo, I cannot believe Jirachi clutched that battle up. That thing was awesome. That thing was amazing. Got rid of the Calyrex, which was awesome. Got rid of the Dust Claps, which was huge. Got rid of the uh, the Ante, which was... Dude, it just clutched up. It was a 3v1. It was a 3v1. Jirachi said, don't worry, yo. I got it. I'm a mythical Pokemon for a reason. And just clutched up. But we're going to end up Dynamax. And we show that we have speed. I think that my Prankster... Uh, or my Whimsicott should be faster than his Tornadus. So I think Taunt should come out before his Tailwind. That would be huge. And then we could just Tailwind next turn and take complete speed control for pretty much the rest of the match. Right? That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. We can see what, he, what he's going to do here. Is he going to end up Dynamaxing? I think he is, right? Yeah. So Kieran White ends up Dynamaxing. I think he's going to drop a nice hunk of ice. Probably right into my uh, Whimsicott. But I wouldn't be surprised if it goes into my Young Veltal. Because it's super effective on the both. We shall see. We shall see. My problem here would be is if he is faster than me, but again, I don't think he is. But if his Tornas is faster than me, he sets up a Tailwind and then we waste turn with Taunt. So we'll see. So I was correct. My calculations were right. Taunt comes out before this. We are faster. So we taunt this Pokemon. I doubt he's Mental Herb. He's not. And he goes for Tailwind. And now we still have speed. So cool. We got speed. We're getting off some work. Getting off a nice lovely Max Darkness. Another Max Darkness will KO that. Because we are dropping Special Defense. And everything is working fine for us. Everything is working fine. So he's going to go for an ice move. Hopefully he goes into the Yveltal here. Because Yveltal could soak it up. Right? Is that going after Yveltal or is he whimsy? In it? He's taking out my Whimscott. How dare you take out my Whimscott? How dare you take out Whimscott? But it's all good. It's all good. Because at this point, uh, I think I just bring out Jirachi and kind of roll out the battle that way. We save a crowd on first. Uh, weather control. We just save our yeah, I'm gonna go Jirachi, or I could go Groudon and get some speed onto the Groudon side. But again, I'd rather save the Groudon for the weather control. I'm gonna go Jirachi. And look at Jirachi's moves. Jirachi looks like it rips. I can Ice Punch into that Tornadus. I think I'm just going to Airstream to get rid of the Kyurem. Or do we have to go for this Darkness? I feel like we have to go for this Darkness. I feel like we have to go for Darkness, but look at these moves right here. We can rip into Kyurem with these Steel moves, but Ice Punch gonna be our play over on this slot. I think we have to go into a Darkness. I don't know if Airstream can take out. I'm really not too sure. So I'm just going to stick with my guns. I'm going to go with the Darkness here. He might even guard it, which he doesn't. He's going to Icy Wind me. How dare you? So he slows this down. He's going to go next. And are you going to go into my Yveltal? How dare you do that to me? How dare you do that to me? He goes through a Hailstorm. That's got to be into Yveltal, right? Yeah, Yveltal, you should be able to soak this. Never mind. Oh, he does. I love you. That's huge. So we're going to go down to Buffett's next turn, but we get rid of Kirim. We get rid of Kirim. So that's big time plays. That's big time plays. I forgot about Icy Wind. Icy Wind really did me down. So I taunted him. I was just like, there's no way he can get speed. We have a Salt Vest with Jirachi. Jirachi's pretty solid here. But I'm worried about the, the weather control coming out here. Jirachi might even be able to pick up a KO here. Jirachi's hitting pretty hard. Jirachi's hitting pretty hard. So Yveltal goes down to this life orb. That's totally fine. I'll go Dynamax for Dynamax. And we will get rid of him. So see you later. Or no, not see you later. But still big damage. Big damage coming up. 
So he's going to Icy Witness again. We know that's coming. He's going to grant speed control. And it's kind of scary. Because if he has... If he has what's called... If he has Kyogre coming out here... That would be tough. That would be tough. It is Kyogre. Kyogre, can you be faster? Can you set the rain first? Okay, yes. That that helps us out a little bit. That helps us out a little bit. He sets the rain first. Drought's coming out afterwards. And I think I just do a rock slide. Do I rock slide and... Mash here or Zen Headbutt? We do have uh, Serene Grace. Go Serene Grace. We'll get some HP back. Uh, Meteor Mash does more damage. This one has a chance to make the target flinch, but he's going to go first. He's going to outspeed us all day. So, actually, Zen Headbutt's her call. This is going to do the most damage. And let me just rock slide on top of that. Just to get rid of this Tornadus. Because Gradom might be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. He's going to hard swap. Okay, he's going to hard swap here. Gonna go into Incineroar, so that's a great Incineroar swap. It's a great Incineroar swap. You can go for another Icy when he's slowing us down, so we're speeds in the dumps. I think he's just gonna clean this one up with Kyogre. It's, lo it's looking nice that he cleans it up with Kyogre, right? It's looking real good. It's looking real scary, too. The Rock Side's coming out here. Sending it. We're going to say bye-bye to Tornadus. We're going to chip up a little bit of damage on into Incineroar. But yeah, this battle, it's no good. It's no good. We had a shot with it with uh, while uh, Kyogre was on the field in the drought. But once he swapped, it was pretty much GG's. What item do you got? Eject button. Actually, this could help us out here. Now he's forcing him into a, a uh, taking a shot. But we are... Nate, he's going to intimidate us again. Can we get a crit? We need crits. <laughs> we need crits at this point. We need crits at this point. We need critical hits. Because we're not going to do enough damage to really neglect a lot of the water spout damage. Then he can kind of just fake me out here. The Zen Headbutt coming in hot. Not bad damage. I wish I could have done more, but again, he's going to pop into the Incineroar again. He gets off another Intimidate. Then he can just fake out, and then it's just not looking good whatsoever. Not looking good. Not looking good. We do have a Soul Fest. I mean, I think I have to start Drain Punching into the system to kind of get some HP back and hope we grant, get, get some crits here. And then on top of that, I think we'll just across the board a little bit of blades action but Groudon's dead he's gonna land this uh hopefully he goes for an orange pulse maybe he misses but if I was him I'd just go safe with it and go into a water spout he's gonna fake out who not my Jirachi come on now not my Jirachi and there's the water spout he plays it safe he's gonna take on my Groudon all day and that's gonna be GG's that is going to be GG's because they both outspeed me he's just gonna double down blah 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 Blah, blah, blah. Solid play from him. Kai over the OP Pokemon. Comes in that back end. Wins him the battle. I'm just going to run this one. We're now sitting one and one. But let's hop to that third and final battle. Look to grab ourselves a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team right here. We're going up against a Zygarde, Eternatus, and Mewtwo team. Alongside with Incineroar, Scyther. Which could be Evo Light Scyther. And then Urshfu. How should I play this one? I feel like Groudon can do a lot of work here. Yvelta can also do a lot of work. But we definitely need speed up against this guy. So going in with a Pokemon like Wimscott should be good for us. I'm going to go Wimscott. I might also go Yveltal as a lead. I just like that. Or I can go like Blacephalon. And somebody else. Because Blacephalon can't be faked out. And his speed is rather high with Pokemon sleep. Hmm. They go Blacephalon and Yveltal. Dynamax Yveltal. Kind of roll from there and take speed that way. I'm kind of leaning a bit towards more of that. Sounds a lot better. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Blacephalon, Yveltal. I really dig that. Because I think he's going to lead against Incineroar. The special attackers won't be really affected, and then we'll bring Groudon and Jiraji. Really good, right? Sounds awesome. Or I can lead Screen Shrimp Snarl and kind of roll out the battle that way. That's not too bad for us either. Screen Shrimp Snarl alongside with the Beltal. Hmm. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We have Jiraji with the Ice Coverage move for the Zygarde, so that's four times super effective on that. I am digging that, but yo, Jirachi, I'm actually liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I absolutely love Jirachi. It's doing really good. It's hitting hard. It's bulking out a lot of shots. It's really awesome. It's really, it's a lot stronger than I thought it would be. So, loving this strategy. I do got to showcase Mew soon too. Mew and Celebi. But I heard Celebi might be the worst Pokemon. He's going to end up going into Zygarde and Mewtwo. And at this point, do we just put the Zygarde to sleep? Zygarde might Dynamax. Zygarde might Dynamax. But I can Dynamax Yveltal. I could take some speed. I could get after it. Uh, is that what I wanted to do? Genius wants to do. I could Sucker Punch the Mew. Me too. Kind of lean towards it. Kind of lean towards a thick sucker punch right to his mitt. 
And then drop in a hypnosis right there. Or I can drop a he's physical attack and let's just burn it. Let's just burn it. Burn would be better than sleep on that thing. So he's not gonna die to max. We're gonna drop a nice lovely sucker punch. Get off some huge damage on that thing. It's a great turn for us. What's up, fun? You have the Y line. Should be able to land with Lewis, no problem. Thank you very much. So we burn a physical attack here. That's big time plays for us. They so pick up a nice burn. And what are you going for here? He's going to go for a side strike into Basef or Yvelt. God, this move is gorgeous. Basephalon, no! <laughs> Gets ripped on. Basephalon's dead. <laughs> that move is so sick, dude. Side strike, it looks amazing. That's an arrow. He's going to poke through here. I'm cool with that. I soak up all day. He is burned. Um, I could Dynamax here. I could stay and go to Oblivion Wing, but I feel like Dynamax and we're going to get no value out of. So I think we're just going to uh, go into Jirachi here. Oblivion Wing. Well, I could sucker punch it to. Uh, I think I'm going to sucker punch it. Into Mewtwo again. And just ice punch across the board. Because really, Mewtwo might be faster than me. And ice punch right onto this thing for a four times super effective shot. I'm digging it. He did burn it. It's huge. He did burn it. Sucker punch comes out here again. He falls for it. He's going to go for another attack and we take it out. So yeah, sucker punch. 100% to play. 100% to play. Can Jirachi outspeed the Zygarde? Kind of hoping he can. It does. Four times super effective shot coming in hot. Jirachi chipping up some damage on thing. Mean damage. He goes for a Draco Beater and I dodge it. That's huge. And this thing was special. That was a special attack move. But Thousand Arrows is uh, physical. That's fine. He's going to power construct. I have Jirachi who outspeeds it. I might just Dynamax the Shiveltal here or I could save my Dynamax for my Groudon. But yeah, ooh, I don't know. Can you take that out, Jirachi? You should be able to. Jirachi, you should be able to finish that thing off. You should be able to dump on it. Play no games, Jirachi. Play no games. So who's he going to throw out here? If your Velta is faster, I might Dynamax your Velta. Depends who he throws out. So we got rid of the Mewtwo. Zygarde doesn't really stand a chance here unless he throws out somebody who can one-tap my Jirachi and outspeed both my Pokemon. And that might be the Pokemon. <laughs> that Pokemon's definitely looking scary. I mean, I can I could swap here. Go for an Oblivion Wing. I'm going to go for Oblivion Wing for HP. I could Dynamax Jirachi, or I can just hard swap. Nah, I'm, I'm all about staying in the joint. Now, you know what? We're going to Dynamax Jirachi. I'm going to Hailstorm. Jirachi, can you eat this up? I don't know if Jirachi can eat this shot up. In 20, 120. I think we play it safe here. I really do. I think we play it safe when we swap. Because, again, I'm not too worried about the... Not too worried about that Zygarde, you know? It's burned. I'm not too worried about Zygarde. So, I'm going to dip back here. Right, I'm going to dip back here. I wouldn't mind saving my Jirachi for Dynamax. Oblivion Wing, wow, we outspeed. That would have been good to know. I thought that Earth would outspeed us. Sashed. It's not wow, we could we could just won the battle there. We could just ice punch with Jirachi. I thought that Urshfu would outspeed me. I thought he would, but any and I thought maybe he could have a focus ash too. But we get rid of him. That, that, that's fine. We'll play the safe way. He's gonna end up dropping Jericho Meteor. This this could actually do a decent amount of damage. Burn's not affecting it. But we should be able to soak it still. Yeah, cool. So Zygarde is completely in the depths. I'm not worried about that Pokemon whatsoever. He's burned. He's minus two on special attack. He can't do anything. He's out for the count. He still has Dynamax over here. And who's his final Pokemon going to be? Who is your final Pokemon going to be? It's going to be Eternatus, who he can't even Dynamax. This game's over. This game's over, and my boy can pretty much just tap it. Like Groudon. My Groudon hits like a truck. So from here, I'm just going to believe me in the Zygarde, and I'm just going to blades across the board. Lovely little Precipice Blades. GG's. GG's. We're going to grab ourselves a winning record with the strategy team, which is lovely. He's probably going to Dynamax his Zygarde, but... It's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything. Solid first turn for us with the burns with the Blacephalon. I love it. I like that Blacephalon. That might be my favorite Blacephalon boat. Because most of them are just gimmicky, mind blown, drop it off like that. But this one's wide lens and it's quick speed. It can put Pokemon to sleep or burn off of the starting turn, which is just incredible. It really is. I love it. I love it. I love it. But it does have some issues, definitely. Zacian could just outspeed it and take it out. So it can't really get off a of burn on Zacian. But at that point, you just leave Wimscott with it, you know? Tailwind up, burn up. Because burn is so much better than... It's so much stronger than people think it is, you know? You don't really realize how strong burn is until you get into the competitive scene. And, like, start using it competitively. Because they're half physical attacking damage. So it's just ridiculously strong to put on to physical 
Which I still don't understand why Poison doesn't have special attack, but I, I, it beats me. Did he just miss an Eternal Beam? I think he just did. He just missed a turn of beam, beam. Oblivion Wing comes out here. Puts this thing on one. He's free sashing. He gets a free focus ash, which is ugly. It's terrible. We don't like that. We don't like that, but Blade's coming in here. Groudon says, hey, yo. You guys get on out of here. Picks up the easy double kill. Actually, not a double kill. I lied to you guys. I lied to you guys. He gets another free focus ash. This game. This game's doing me dirty right now. Gets another free focus ash. But it's all good. We are absolutely dominating this one. I have Sucker Punch. I'm going to throw into it. And then I'm just going to go into a higher... Accuracy move with fire punch and finish off this battle, right? Cancel the battle. Just cancel it. Give us that winning record. Another winning record for series 13. We have been just getting winning records left and right. Hopefully we can keep the streak rolling for as long as we possibly can. But yeah, is this guy really thinking and not clicking a move? Just click a move. You know you lose. You know you lose. You know you can't kill both my Pokemon. And you gotta remember that I have Sucker Punch because I teed off on your Mewtwo. So no Dynamax comes out from either of us. That kind of evens the field. But yeah, he probably wanted to go into a Dynamax, but he was just like, dude, I can't do it with Zygarde, you know? This guy just wasting my time at this point. He's just, he's just like, yo, we're going to make Jeans wait and sit here. That's exactly what he said. He said, I'm just going to make Jeans sit here and wait. Which is obnoxious. Which is obnoxious. Because he knows this battle's over. He knows I dominated him. He knows I rolled out strong. I wish I could have used Jirachi in battle number three, but I feel like we showcased it really good in battle number one and in battle number two. It rolled out strong. And we got off some big damage here in battle number three. That's not too bad. Not too bad. But Sucker Punch comes in here, cleans this one up, and we go 2-1 for today's video. Jirachi might be one of the most underrated Pokemon for Series 13. I really did not think it was going to be that strong, and it was absolutely killing it. It was great on the bulky defense side, and it was strong on the physical attacking side. It had Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Drain Punch, and Ice Punch. I feel like the only move we didn't get to use was Drain Punch, but it's kind of just there for some nice HP recovery. But every other move hit hard, and it did really well in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.